In this video we will learn how to create a new project. An unlimited number of projects is available in any of our paid plans. To create a new project, from my projects page, select the new project button on the right corner. Start by adding a name for your project, as well as the expected start and end date. Use the description field to clearly communicate the scope and goals of your project with the rest of the team. You can also add a title image representative of your project by clicking on Browse and selecting a previously saved image from your computer. If needed, a project leader can choose to restrict administrators of the space from accessing the project. This way they can avoid unwanted changes to the project settings, and limit the administrators from adding team members to the project. Next, select a project owner from the users already added to your space. Keep in mind that project owner and project leader have separate functions. Project owner will be a default user to whom the issues will be assigned to, in case a specific team member is not selected. A person that creates a new project is by default a project leader, and users in a project leader role are the ones setting up all project settings. In the field below, you can select who can close the issues in the project, including everyone on the project, project leaders only, project leaders and creators of issues or employees of the company. The features explained in the upcoming fields are additional options available only in the connected and enterprise plans. First, you will have an option to only assign issues to members of the same user groups. Through this feature you will limit members to assign issues only to the team members in their own group. The members are assigned to groups by the project leader, and can be created and managed in the project settings. By turning on the, Use Approval Workflow, feature, the approval field will be available for all issues in the project. When creating or editing an issue, you can add team members who need to approve the resolution of the issue before it is closed. By turning it off, the approval field will not be available in the issue dialog. When allow visibility for issue creators feature is enabled, the visible for field is active when creating an issue, and creators of the issue can define for whom the issue is visible for. When this option is disabled, all issues are visible for all team members in the project. Custom fields can be used to add additional project-specific information to issues, and are set up under project settings. By turning on some or all custom fields, the project leader can choose which custom fields are available for the project. Through mandatory fields, project leaders can make one or more properties in the issue mandatory to fill in before an issue can be saved. By clicking on the drop-down menu, you can select and add multiple required fields. Next time you are creating a new project, you can make use of an existing project as a template and copy its settings. You can enable all or only some of the available fields, including team members, areas, milestones, as well as the custom and mandatory fields in connected and enterprise spaces. Smart views, clash rules and list definitions which have been added to the shared folders of the template project in BIM Collab Zoom can be copied to the new project as well. Labels, types, groups and priorities will always be copied, along with project owner. Once you have all your new project information set up, click Create. The project is now available in your project page, and by clicking on the project you are taken to the individual project page where you can further set up project settings related to issue management. Any of the project settings can be edited after the initial setup, by clicking on the Edit Project button on the top right corner. Now that you've learned how to add a BIM Collab project, watch the next video to learn more about the BIM Collab workflow.